Okay, ma'am. We'll start the session. What we discussed in the previous session? What we discussed in the previous session? Can anyone please respond, ma'am? Ma'am, Chomsky normal form. Chomsky normal form we have seen. So, Chom, what is Chomsky normal form? Which is a CFG free from epsilon production. And the CFG should be in the form of. Tell me. Variable or terminal. X, Y, R. Either two variables or a single term. That is nothing but the CFG. Now we'll, sorry, CNF. Now we'll move on to the next concept that, that is GNF. GNF stands for Greeback normal form. GNF stands for Greeback normal form. There are two normal forms. First one is CNF and the next one is GNF. In GNF, what is the definition of GNF means? Every CFL without epsilon can be generated from CFG, which means CFG without epsilon and every production is in the form of Every production is in the form of A to A alpha. Here A is nothing but a terminal and alpha is simply variable star, which means you may have n number of variables or you may not have the variable. See, which is either epsilon or you may have any number of combination of variables. Am I clear with this? So A belongs to which is a terminal and alpha belongs to which is a combination of any number of variables or zero variables. This is nothing but the Greeback normal form. Now I'll give you a question and then we'll move on to the, I'll give you an example and we'll move on to the grammars. Simply A to A. Is it in GNF? Is it in GNF ma? Say yes or no? Is it in GNF format? Nalini, Seishu, 53, Rishita. Yes, right. Next, A2AX. Is it in GNF? Yes. A to A X Y. A is a terminal. After that, you may have any number of variables. No. So, is it in GNF? Ma'am, so we should have at least one terminal for sure. Yes, at least one terminal for sure. At least, not at least, exactly one terminal. That should be the starting one. After that, you may have any number of. Uh, non-terminals that is variables variables you may call it as non-terminals am i clear with this ma if you understand this what is gnf and how it looks like then we'll move on to the problems right please say yes or no yes ma'am next time moving towards the problems s tends to a or B or CSS. Is it in GNF? Yes. Yes, ma'am. Right? Now, next question S tends to BA or BASA. S tends to BA or BASA. Tell me. Is it in GNF first? How many productions? We'll write that. S tends to BA or S tends to BA SA. Okay. The first one. Is it in GNF format, Ma? Yes, ma'am. Is it in GNF? What is the GNF? Nalini, is it? Okay, Rishita, is it in GNF? 
ma'am since there are uh, there is one variable at first so i i feel it is in g no uh, it is having the terminal after terminal you may have either variable combination or you don't have anything but here it is having the terminal no so it is not in gnf first we will place this in gnf format s tends to b capital a i have taken a tends to a is it in gnf the first one s to b capital yes, a yes a to a is it in gnf yes ma'am yes the next thing is s to up to b is okay next one is it is having a terminal terminal means the terminal i can replace with the variable capital a so b capital a s a okay so after b we are having all our variables is it in gnf yes okay yeah. this is nothing but the gnf concept will move on to some other will do some other problems next equation is s tends to a or b or a s b or b s a tell me first we'll write individually all the productions individually s tends to a s tends to b s tends to a s b s tends to b s a okay these are the things given to you now so first one is in already in gnf second one is also in gnf third one is not in gnf and fourth one is also not in gnf right third and fourth one are not in gnf format so third and fourth one are not in gnf means we have to arrange them in the gnf format how can we arrange that i am taking x tends to a and y tends to b in place of this b i am replacing y in place of this a i am replacing x which means x tends to a or b both are in gnf x tends to a capital s y x tends to b capital s x now if you observe all are in gnf format is it not ma'am yes hmm nalini ne doubt inda nene irukku nene aduguta s tends to a s tends to b undi kada direct ga ikkada s pettayachu kada adhe nani doubt yes ma'am hmm why i did not uh, use that means if i put a s b here see s is already the given production not taken by you right so ipu nen ikkada a s b an pettan ante ee b place lo capital s teesukochu kada anedi ni doubt yes we can but what what is the issue we will get means s is not only generating b ikkad nee thing enti which is exclusively generates b ane concept kavali ikkada Got it, ma'am. Ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Hmm. Chaprishita. Ma'am, इप्पर माने कि इच्छने production ही we've divided ना ma'am. S tends to A, S tends yes, to B. Yes. So in that case, it means S is also tending to B, no ma'am. Why can't we consider it that way? Like we've divided it. So that's what I'm telling. Suppose if I ask you a question that, uh, for example, A, A, B, you have to generate. Okay. Okay, ma'am. uh not like this oh, suppose for example s a generate chestundi ani me doubt appude em avutadante for example s tends to a s b place lo again you are writing s okay okay it place the only possibility ikkike em undalante b ne undali because here we are replacing the terminal not the variable it, it replacing the terminal means terminal ante enti it is only one if it is a variable malli a variable manike edanna terminal ni generate cheyachu but here the concept is b is the only thing right only which is a terminal if i replace this with s s is deriving so many things there may be a chance of getting a s a also because s is deriving a no so at some point of time there may be a chance of getting uh, ending with a also that is not the thing right here the concept is if it starts with a ends with b if it starts with b it ends with a suppose if you consider s here what happens means a s a which means it is starting and ending with a which means it is not possible through the given production 
అందుకని నేను ఎక్స్క్లూజివ్ గా టూ వేరియబుల్స్ తీసుకున్నాను అర్థమైందమ్మా ఓకే మ్యామ్ నలిని నీ డౌట్ క్లియర్ అయిందా yes ma'am but i'm very happy that uh, few people are listening at least uh, cs12 valakaithe a doubt kuda rale okay i'm moving forward ma s tends to capital a capital b a tends to ab b tends to a or ab mm. ఇది మీరు చెప్తా ఉంటే నేను చేస్తాను నెక్స్ట్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ ఎక్స్క్లూజివ్ గా మీరే చేయాలి తెలియమా ఇస్ ఇట్ ఇన్ జిఎన్ఎఫ్ నో ఇస్ ఇట్ ఇన్ జిఎన్ఎఫ్ ఎస్ మ్యామ్ ఎస్ ఇస్ ఇట్ ఇన్ జిఎన్ఎఫ్ ఓన్లీ అప్ టు ఓన్లీ ఫస్ట్ మ్యామ్ ఎస్ దిస్ వన్ నో సో ఫస్ట్ వి విల్ చేంజ్ దిస్ you have to replace నో దిస్ దిస్ ఇస్ ద వేరియబుల్ దిస్ ఇస్ నాట్ ఎ టర్మినల్ అర్లియర్ ఇట్ ఈస్ ఏ uh terminal means how we we have changed we assume one variable and extend to some small a but it is a variable it is not a terminal now you have to replace this variable with a terminal already nik a ante ento telus kada can i replace a with a b b a plus lo nen a b ni replace cheyachcha yes ma'am okay this is uh, now if you see is it in gnf Yeah. yes yes ma'am because starting with terminal after you may have any number of variables no next a tends to ab next b tends to a again b tends to capital a small b capital a means this capital a will replace with small a capital b b but here b is violating the property b is violating the property means it is already gnf gnf so we have to change with only we have to change this this we can write it as b tends to a b capital x x tends to small b any doubt now if you observe starting with terminal after you may have any number of variables this is also in gnf i think i'm clear with this right say yes or no ma'am this is rishita ma'am as small uh, no ma'am i made a mistake okay okay ma'am here in second hmm right place a b b like capital b and b ekkada amma suppose the numbering is the a production fourth production lo ma'am hmm fourth production lo first one is terminal after terminal you may have any number of variables thani ikkada manike em undi terminal unna ante nenu deenni change cheyali kada ee b ni ah yes ma'am okay ardham ayindha ipudu neeku yes ma'am is okay next one is s tends to small b or capital b a b a a tends to b b a or b b tends to a a a i don't want to explain this first you solve if you are unable to do it then i'll explain
Completed. Completed, ma. Please respond. No, oh, ma. Okay. Please acknowledge after completion. Ma'am. Yes, ma. Like. Uh... Can we take like capital Y belong and like derives B and small A, sorry, small B and capital A? Yes, you can. This coach Nalini, A then I'll be one time a pretty man and this kune way by now, one time uses. Ma'am, I think I got it. Okay, tell me the answer. S tends to B, which is already in GNF. Next. In GNF. Uh, uh, if we take uh, Y as small B and capital A, mm. then A will be small B and capital Y. Yeah, you are telling A, uh, small B and capital Y. Y, capital y. tends to? Small B and capital A. Okay. So from uh, S will be small b capital Y. S will be small b capital Y. Hmm. Capital B. Again, you have to replace X. the A. X. X tends to? X. X is getting A. Okay. Next to A tends to is the only possibility B Y or can we take it like A A X because already you have taken X tends to Y no so here I have replaced in B plus in B part I have replaced A A A A is A. fine and capital A is fine this is not fine so I have replaced with X same I'm yeah. generally B we may remove. Because A to B will be the unit production. No, this directly we are uh, taking here. So we can remove the B. But if they did not ask the simplification. So uh, please put this. If they ask after GNF, uh, what is the simplified grammar? If they ask like that, you just remove this. Okay, ma'am. Ma'am, so here we don't have anything like, uh, ma'am, since you said we don't require B, uh, should we even consider the useless symbols, ma'am? If they ask you to simplify, you have to consider. Otherwise, you have to mention this B. Okay, ma'am. Okay? Okay. I think I'm clear with this uh, GNF, right? Now, I'll give you one example, ma'am. Please construct CNF as well as GNF. Then we'll move on to the pumping gun. I'm asking you to construct the CNF as well as GNF. Both I'm asking you to construct. So, construct here I'm giving you the language A power N, B power N, where N greater than or equals to 1. Earlier, uh, in the previous examples, what we have seen either in GNF or in CNF, what we have seen, we are having the productions from the productions, we know how to construct CNF and GNF, but here I'm not giving you the productions. Here I'm giving you the language and I'm asking you to construct the CNF and GNF. Will you try it? First, what you have to do for, from this language, you generate the productions. You, you construct the grammar. From the grammar, construct CNF and GNF. Will you able to do it? Just give it a try. I already told you how to convert the given language into a grammar. 
in the first session itself i told you in third module first session itself nalini prishita yes ma'am construct chestunnara try yes yes ma'am try okay Have you tried? You get the answer. Simple thing, ma. This one. Please respond. I'm tried, ma'am, but not sure of the answer. Yes, ma'am. Okay. So, per name or change, sir? Ma'am, language is A B A A B B and so on, ma'am. Language is. A B A A B B B B and so on and so on like that, ma'am. Hmm. Directions. A tends to A B. Uh, B tends to small B. Ma'am. Capital B tends to small B. Hmm. But I got S tends to A. Ma'am, now I doubt. See, this is completely wrong, ma'am. See, simple thing. S tends so, to capital A B. Okanishan Alini. S tends to capital A B. A tends to small a capital A. Mm. B tends to small b capital B. Mm. Suppose if this is the case, S tends to A B. Anyway, we have to start with the starting symbol. 
ये ये बी बी यू यू विल गेट इन्फाइनिट स्ट्रिंग दिस विल नेवर एंड राइट यस मैम दिस विल नेवर एंड राइट मलिनी यस मैम सिंपल लॉजिक इपुर एस टेंस टू फर्स्ट इज ए बी इन बिटवीन ए बी व्हाट यू गोट ए बी ओके वन सेकेंड इनका क्लियर का चप्पल एस टेंस टू ए बी नो डाउट हियर ए बी यू हैव टू एक्सेप्ट नेक्स्ट इन बिटवीन ए बी व्हाट यू गोट ए बी ओनली ए बी मैम इन बिटवीन ए बी मली ए बी डिराइव्स आल एंड मेरे मिके इन का वाली एस इन्दर ये अन्ना कंफ्यूशन ह No. simple example s tends to if you want you can directly take ab if you want uh, 2a b that means 2a is 2b simply you may derive if you want 3a is 3b in between you take s are we getting the language or not yes ma'am okay now you are familiar how to convert this thing to cnf and gnf the thing we got from the language is See ma, I am not pretty sure that you will get the productions. They may ask you to, they may ask you the language, and uh, they may ask you to construct the CNF and GNF. So, is tends to A B or A S B? Is it in CNF? No. Is it in CNF? No. What is CNF? Yeah, either you may have the variables or you may have the terminals. Here, I am replacing it with X Y. X tends to A, Y tends to B. So now this is this part is in uh, CNF. What about this? S tends to A S. Already Y is deriving, no? So Y or uh, A is nothing but X, right? But we have only in CNF only two variables are allowed. So I am taking some P tends to S Y, and in this place of S Y, I am replacing P. Now it is in CNF. XP is in CNF. SY is in CNF. Is it not? Am I clear with this, ma? Yes. Now suppose if you want to construct the GNF, simply first is terminal, next is variable. No, so Y is deriving variable, so simply it is Y. Next S tends to A S B. A is fine. Yes, and then. B is nothing but A S. It is in G N F. This is C N F. I think I'm clear with this C N F and G N F concept. Am I? Say yes or no, ma? Ma'am, the prediction which I will is that the correct way or is it wrong? No chasing there. Huh? Yes, ma'am. रांगे कदा इक नीकेवर गेट द स्ट्रिंग एपड़की एक्सपैंड उपड़ना एंड इच्छावा इकड़ा टर्मल तो एंड इकड़ा टर्मल तो एंड इकड़ा टर्मल तो एंड सो इन युवर ग्रामर नो वन इज डिंग ए टर्मल नो वन इज डिंग ए टर्मल मीन यू विल नेवर गेट ए स्ट्रिंग रईट सोसली दिश रांग आंसर इंको 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 आलोचन चेयचु दो इट ईज रांग ऐम टेलिंग यू फर् देक आफ अंडरस्टा सिंपली इलावना इला सपोज एस टेन टू ए बी इन प्लेस आफ ए डी यू कैन टेक ए इन प्लेस आफ बी डैरक्टली यू कैन टेक बी सो ए बी ऐक्सप्ट बट लांग्वेज ऐक्सप्टो ले चूद एस टेन टू ए बी एज डिंग सम ए ओके दट फाइन B is deriving B B. Again, this B is deriving B B. Again, this B is deriving B. So A B B B. Is the string acceptable in this language? Can we get any chance of getting this type of string? No. Oh, so this is also wrong answer. At last. Only one string will be accepted. Remaining all, it may fail. So this is also wrong answer. All, uh, always you think, ma, the first is A B. So directly you can take in between what you are getting that you replace with a variable based on the situation. Generally, uh, if they ask, they'll ask you this question. 
a par and b par and this only uh, we will easily can write the grammar still any confusion regarding the cnf and gnf please respond yeah. okay and uh, next concept is pumping lemma shall i explain in this class or shall we discuss in the next session pumping lemma okay i'll define and uh, just introduce what is pumping lemma tomorrow we'll see the problems is it okay and do you remember ma tomorrow i'm going to conduct a quiz for you on core on this flat first three modules are you aware of that yes ma'am and i have forwarded the assignment questions to you and the assignment due date is next monday i'll uh, update that i'll create a assignment link in the model okay those who have completed upload that upload your assignment in that model assignment 2 link which is available in the topic 2 and uh, tomorrow i'm going to conduct you a quiz on first three modules in tomorrow's session it's just a 15 minutes task after that again we will move on to the regular class work okay ma so prepare and answer the questions okay i'm moving forward 